Welcome back. There is an exciting race series right here in Utah for the first time. And right now we have an interview with Frederick Osbo from the Formula Drift Series Pro Drive and Papadakas Racing. Let's take a look. I'm Frederick Osbo, driver of the number 151 Rockstar Energy Drink Toyota GR Supra here in Formula Drift. I've driven for this team for 11 seasons now and I'm, uh, I'm starting to know him pretty well. Uh, Steph, the team owner, is awesome. Uh, he gives me freedom to to uh, play around on track. At the same time, we have a, uh, a high level of expectations, you know, for ourselves and, and for the team. And, uh, you know, the rest of the boys are, are amazing. They, they keep spirits high within the team and we're, we're a tight unit over here. The season started off pretty well. Uh, we uh, got a fourth place in Long Beach after I put our uh, opponent, Matt Field, in the wall. That was not ideal. But we, uh, we got back on track in Atlanta with a win. A um, couple solid finishes following that. Then a little bit of a slump where I, I got into my teammate, Ryan Turk, uh, before I drove myself off the track or into the wall, I should say, in Seattle. So we're, we're definitely looking for a little bit of a revenge here in Utah. And we want to get back back on, on the horse and, uh, and put down a good uh, result here. So far, the season highlight has been that win in Atlanta. Um, and we were on rails. We had a lightning quick car. I love that track. I'm from Europe, from Norway, and the, and the green surroundings in Atlanta kind of reminded me of home. Uh, so, you know, we, we usually strive for more highlights than just one in a season. And uh, with two rounds left, there's, uh, there's still room and time to make that happen. Last year was amazing. Um, we won a championship uh, and it was the hardest fought title I've ever been able to pull off. And uh, it was, there was something about the, the hunger and the drive and the, and the will to go the extra mile within myself and within the team and uh, you know, with the car set up, everything just lined up. And sometimes I find myself uh, pinching uh, myself, you know, like remembering that that actually happened. How did I get into drift racing? Usually I say bad parenting. Uh, <laughs> jokingly, uh, that's kind of true because my dad was into uh, rallycross at a grassroots level. I know this track, they've done rallycross before and we can probably see the jump behind us here. Um, but I fell in love with drifting uh, as part of that rally and rallycross interest. I always loved the the uh, the most intense moments of rallying, and drifting has that, and that's all drifting is. It's near crashes. It's uh, it's uh, a contact sport. It's all the highlights from traditional motorsports. So for me, it was a it was a God's gift to a uh, to a 15 year old that wanted to go race. There's something about being in control of a car that's out of control. We're doing something that you shouldn't really be doing. We're doing everything they tell you in driving school not to do. Uh, we're riding the clutch and we're, we're putting thousand horsepower into burning up a set of tires as quickly as we can. And it's just wild and obnoxious, but I love that rebellious part of the sport. And uh, it's, it's a big part of my DNA. I think the Papadakis team differs from other teams in the sense that we're, we're not only about winning. We, we go here because it's fun. We go here because we like to experiment. We go here be because we like the journey of, you know, traveling the country or the world and, and, and learning. And we're forever learning. We're forever students of the sport. And I think that mindset is why this team and we've been uh, successful. So I've been to Utah one time before. I went to Park City. That was super cool. Uh, first time seeing an actual Olympic ski jump here in the US. And just the, the nature, the, the kind of diverse um, scene here, you know, obviously we were here at a beautiful track, but you can go into the mountains. I know there are lakes, uh, we're dead smack in the middle of, of, of lots of cool things you can do. So I'm definitely coming back to Utah. I'm present at all the major social media platforms, currently building my TikTok. So search for Frederick Ospo, that's Ospo with a double A, and I'll, uh, I'll see you there.